hey what's going on babies thank you so much for tuning in all right y'all so you know what time it is it's twin flame ascension time all right so let's see what's going on with you guys don't forget every twin is on a different stage of their journey take what you need eat what you don't need i am here to help you to ascend okay so this twin flame journey is a journey of self it's about your soul's evolution all right becoming one with your soul and once you are in alignment all right in union with self this puts you in union with your person okay now let's see what's going on because the energy is kind of weird right <laughs> so i want to help y'all get back balanced i do feel like energetically divine feminine is finding um her or his way because you can be a male as a divine feminine but learning how to really stand in your truth and your power expressing yourself facing your shadows understanding that you play a role okay in the toxicity as well all right we don't start off as divine honey but <laughs> we work our way through it into it because we we realize what it takes to actually have to um operate as light workers okay or as a twin flame right so let me pull a card and see what's you know what comes out next but let me move my head first <laughs> it'd be hitting the microphone and i know it's a lot of noise in y'all ear let me set my intentions thank you holy spirit thank you angelic guides thank you for helping me with this twin flame reading protect us as we go through the portals close the gates of anything not in alignment thank you that my true gods are here with me I block out any karmic energies and so it is it's early in the morning here, y'all. It's like almost 8 o'clock, okay? So I may sound a little something like a man, right? <laughs> it's like I've been up since like 4 this morning. Um, I feel like I'm a little, I'm a little tired, but all is well, all is well. Let's see. Come on now, give us a card. I like for my cards to fly out. Yep, remember your identity. You can do it, okay? Your twin is actually here to wake you up, okay, to your most authentic self. Sacred sexuality. Hmm, that's interesting. I never pulled that. Look, I'm going to stop right there. What's that about? All right, but let's start with the Remembering Your Identity card. This card has came out several times throughout um, the readings I have been doing, but... 57. It says your quest for fulfillment requires an exploration of your inner self. The goal is for you to discover who you truly are. The path is divine love. The path to divine love is not straight. This zigzag pathway is a repetitive process sending you deeper within to revisit things you thought you understood. <laughs> and it makes me laugh is because like even with myself i am divine feminine it's like i thought i understood my abandonment issues i thought i understood my rejection issues i thought i faced these things i thought i i um embraced you understand my inner child okay and and been loving on myself but yeah okay so a lot of stuff has been like resurfacing within all of us um it's all good though because it's a part of this journey let's just put it that way okay um and you may want this to be a straight path but it just ain't look it just the fuck ain't okay i had to, I, I don't know why i felt like i had to say it like that but it felt like we needed that intensity because this journey is definitely one um not to be reckoned with okay it's like <laughs> woo right that's how i feel like woo. right is there anything else can we chill right can we get a break but the universe is like nah nah we not chilling on you on that one not right now y'all but soon in due time okay now it says here this pursuit helps you gain an even higher perspective as you remember your identity this card indicates that you are feeling weary and not sure if you can continue your quest with divine love <laughs> feeling lost can make you feel like giving up but stay the course you can do it looking outside of yourself will exhaust you but don't quit because you have been searching in the wrong place True love exists within. The purpose of your intense chaos is to trigger you to gain clarity. Doors may be closing. Chapters are completed, leaving you wondering how will you move forward. But know that you are on your authentic path and it is leading you towards great love. 
it is important to express gratitude for the lessons that your twin flame is teaching you, which helps you discover a deeper love and self-acceptance, okay? So everything that they're mirroring back to you is what you should be facing, okay? And you may be looking at it like this motherfucker, <laughs> right? They plan with me. But again, this is the purpose. This is why they are there. So that you can learn to love and discover a deeper love within your own self. All right. Now, let's look into the sacred sexuality, y'all. It's early in the morning. We get ready to go here. It's like, <laughs> this usually be in the after dark readings. Let's see. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes I go off on a tangent. I, really, <laughs> I be like tripping. Let's see. Sacred sexuality. I'm really tripping because I don't even see it. The fuck that? Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. I'm like, what? They left it out the book. <laughs> it says. We have been taught that physical acts of making love is a forbidden fruit that tricks us into pursuing sinful desires. In truth, lovemaking is an integral part of all creation and represents your capacity to tap into energies of divine love. Consider this card an invitation to release toxic beliefs and negative programming that have caused feelings of shame and guilt and block your ability to experience heartfelt sexual pleasure. When you practice sacred sexuality, it awakens your lover within. It activates your spiritual light body, heightens your ability to reach celestial realms, and makes a connection with your divine source. So open up and tune into the universal laws of lovemaking, especially when it comes to your divine counterpart, okay? It's like healing. This shit is like magic, baby, okay? It really is. It's healing to both twins, okay? So expand your receptivity. It's going to help you to tap into multi-dimensional planes to experience orgasmic bliss and enhance your creativity, creative abilities. To reach this level of ecstasy, you need to remove energetic interference by extracting cords connected to past sexual partners and heal previous sexual traumas. So disarming your energetic field will turn fear into love so you can cosmically merge with vital source energy to create a temple of love. Okay, so now you want to begin to cut the cords, baby, all right, to these unhealthy um, relationships that you may have had in the past with different sexual partners. Um, and what I'm hearing is like soul ties, okay? Start to cut the soul, the cords to soul ties or any sexual trauma. So if you were abused, um, uh, sexually assaulted, raped, or anything like that is what I just heard. Um, and even sometimes you may not even think within your own family or friends, like sometimes things happen, right? Sometimes things happen and it's like, they're your friends, they're your family, you love them, but it plays a, a major role. It can affect you in a major way. And sometimes we tend to write these things off y'all. So really just, you know, really think about it. And if you may have pushed something off to the side, it's still deep within your subconscious is what I'm hearing. And it still needs to be dealt with. Okay. Um, Say like, for instance, if you were dealing with an ex and a uh, boyfriend in high school or something like that, and they raped you, right? Or they, they forced themselves upon you, but they were your boyfriend, right? And they forced you to have sex with them. And sometimes you kind of just like process it in your brain, like, oh, that's my boyfriend, da, 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 but not really understanding how much it has played a uh, effect on you, especially connecting with other people on an intimate level, okay? So really dig deep within that because the union you have with your partner, your counterpart, like that's sacred. OK, this is something that you can definitely enjoy is how I'm hearing it. Sex also is a way of manifesting. So right when you're at that point of orga having an orgasm, you start to set certain intentions as well. So, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, I'm telling you. All right. But definitely make the connection here with your divine source and open up and tune into the universal laws of lovemaking, especially with your counterpart. OK, Um and I'm going to end it there. I don't even need to make it a part two <laughs> or anything. You guys, this has been great. Hit the like button. Peace.